In this video, we're going to be modifying our tree trunk model and applying it as the branches on our tree. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is selecting the tree trunk and we're going to be making a copy of it, seeing as that's what we're going to be converting as our branch. We're going to hold shift and then drag that across and then press OK. There is going to be some distortion here on that tree trunk because it, we've moved it away from its path. But don't worry too much because we're going to be fixing that in just a second. I'm going to name this branch and ensure that you select copy. Press OK. Next, we're going to go into pick path for this copy tree trunk and we're going to be selecting our first branch just here. It's going to be out of place so just to fix that we're going to be clicking on to move to path. So that's now in the correct position and we just need to adjust the stretch because as you can see it's slightly too short so we're just going to stretch that out so it's long enough maybe a little bit longer like so and that's pretty good. Pressing F4 will expose the edges of the model. So we can see that it's probably too high poly for a branch. So we're gonna be adjusting that. And again, because we're creating a low poly tree, we do need to ensure that we're constantly having a look at our edge flow and how many edges we have on the branch. So we're gonna be going down to cylinder, we're gonna hit yes. And then we're going to click onto our sides and start reducing them until we're happy with a set number. Now. For me, around about 10 is going to be okay. I think we can get away with that. Next, what we're going to be doing is just having a tweak of the height segments as well, because how many height segments do we actually need? If we keep reducing these down further and further and further, let's just go up until we're happy with the overall look. Now, this is the lowest and the thickest branch that we have. So we actually want to have probably more height segments on this branch than we will with any other branch we want to make sure that this one looks as realistic as possible. So 15, I think 16 was the original value. So we'll probably leave it at that for now. Now going through this process and adjusting the segments and the sides will break the unwrap for this branch, but that's not really a big issue because it's a very quick process, quick and easy to fix. So to fix that, we're going to be going into our unwrap modifier, clicking on this icon to show the end result and we're going to be going down to our open UV editor and repeating the same process that we used on the main tree trunk. So I'm going to be doing this process for the branch. If you want a recap on the unwrapping process, then please take another look at video three in module one. So going into our front view, one thing that I didn't mention just a few moments ago was within the cylinder, if you go back into cylinder, don't worry, this won't break the unwrap again. The radius is really important because that controls how thick this branch is and how or how thin it is. So I'm going to be making this slightly thicker, but not too thick, otherwise it's going to look a little bit odd. So around about there, I'm going to be going back up onto the top of my stack, going into the crate tab. And if I go into the perspective view by pressing P, I want to make sure that this branch is actually overlapping the tree trunk. Now it could be that I set the radius too wide for the cylinder, so I'm gonna reduce that down slightly just until it overlaps. So you can see there, it's cutting through. Likewise on the other side, it's doing exactly the same thing. So even if you have to make them slightly thinner than they would be, that's okay because what you're looking for is for that branch to be flowing out of the tree rather than it sticking out at the base. So that's the first branch completed. It's lower poly than the tree trunk. It's looking good. The textures look good as well. So what we need to do now is we need to repeat the same process on the other lower branches. And as we get to the top, we're gonna to be creating an even lower poly branch in the same way we just did. We're gonna be reducing the sides, reducing the height segments, and continuing the process. So I'm just gonna be doing this process. Once I'm complete, I'll show you the end result. Okay, so if you have a problem like I've just encountered uh, where the actual base of the branch doesn't actually go into the, the, the tree trunk or the, the original base branch, then what you need to do is you need to actually go and select the line which this branch is following. If you can't actually see the line, an easy way to select it is by pressing F3 on the keyboard and then you'll be able to see the line inside and then you can simply press F3 again and it's gonna show you your mesh. And then we can go in and go to vertex, simply select maybe the base vert and then we can push that in. Now this is not gonna affect 
the overall structure of your branch so don't worry too much about that see we're just isolating that base vertice so we're just going to be pushing that back and even pushing it across a little bit like so okay so that's an easy fix and it shouldn't break anything within uh, the branch model okay so I've completed the process of adding all the lower branches up to about halfway up the tree now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be converting a branch and make it even lower poly because at the top of the tree you're not really going to see them okay so I have this branch just here so what I'm going to do I'm going to be first of all going down to cylinder I'm going to hit yes first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to reduce the side so pressing F4 on the keyboard we can then expose the edges I want to go down to about six so that's now six. I wouldn't go any lower. Five at minimum, I would say. Let's stick to five. And then we can go and reduce the height segments if we need to as well. So I'm going to be reducing this quite low and just increasing it slowly until I'm happy with the overall look of the branch. So I think eight looks pretty good. So I'm going to be leaving it at that. So now we've got, you can see just how low poly that is. But once I get the texture fixed, because once again, by changing the height segments, the sides, it will reset your unwrap. So I'm going to go back into unwrap, select the show end result toggle. So I'm going to be doing another time lapse on the unwrapping process since it's exactly the same unwrapping process as I've demonstrated before. And once again, if you'd like a recap on the process, then please do go back to video three in module one. Okay, so this branch is now complete. It's low poly. Uh, the textures look good as well, so there's no issue there. And I'm going to be continuing and making copies of this and applying it to all the other paths that I've defined for the higher branches. Okay, so I believe that that is actually done. I've added all of the branches to the lines that I drew out. I'm just going to be moving this reference image out of the way for a moment and having a little look at the tree now. We can press F9 to do a very quick render just to see how it's looking. As you can see, that's looking very tree-like. So as a quick summary of all the skills that we've used, we created our diffuse, specular, and normal map, as well as applying it to our tree trunk. We then created lines for our branches and then duplicated our tree trunk, modified it, and applied it to those paths that we drew out for the branches. And in the next video, we'll be looking at creating and applying the foliage for our tree.